So to get the screen loose, you'll need something called a spudger, or I don't have a spudger, so something very thin and flat that you can push through and then twist and kind of pop loose the little connectors. So it's kind of pressure fit on, and when you squeeze it, it'll pop the little connectors loose. Make scary sounds like that. So you want to make sure that it's stuck all the way through so it doesn't damage anything inside. And then just keep twist and pop. And there's camera wires where the camera is. So pop like that, pop like that, pop like that. And then we just pop it the rest of the way. And then the bottom is sketchy. So once we've popped all these loose, Oh, there she blows. So you you gotta pull it up and down like that to get the bottom to come loose. And then there's your screen. So it's held on by screw, 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 screw. There's a tiny little Phillips screws you get with a tiny little screwdriver. All four of the screws are the same size. And then you can lay this down and there's the connector on the back of it. Just peel it up. I'm gonna reuse this tape, hopefully, so I don't mangle it too much. No, oh, it looks like I mangled it too much. And that pulls out. Now they made touchscreen and non-touchscreen versions of this, so make sure you buy the right kind for your computer. And then it has a plastic uh, protected cover on it, so I'm gonna leave that on until we've screwed it back into place. So we just plug the little connector back up like that and then we're going to tape it back into place with the tape i'm going to reuse the old tape here and gently fold it back up and put the screws in place you'll see there's a little guide peg right there on the top and then the screw goes underneath it so you line it up with those guide pegs and then you put the four screws in now at this point or maybe even before screwing it down it's a good idea to turn it on and see if the screen works it's alive it works and now that we know it works, sweet. we peel that off and then put the bottom in place. The bottom goes in real easy, a lot easier than it came out. And then I'm just snapping around the edges, making it pop. Around the bottom too, pushing down on this thingy. And let's see if she lives. And it's alive, all better now.